We begin tonight with a Target 12 exclusive. A secret case against our veteran Rhode Island mobster has been quietly unsealed. Never before seen details about the case has been released that ultimately led to Robert DeLuca wearing a wire for the FBI. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us with the details. Kim. Perry, these newly unsealed court documents are painting a clearer picture of what ultimately led a high-ranking Rhode Island mobster to do what is normally unthinkable in organized crime, work with the FBI. Five years ago, mobster Robert Bobby DeLuca, seen here in exclusive Target 12 video, was charged for his role in a scheme to extort money from Providence strip clubs. It was a sweeping bust that took down several mob associates and bosses like Luigi Baby Shack's Minocchio. Minocchio eventually pleaded guilty and was sent off to prison. But little was known about the charge against DeLuca until it was quietly unsealed by a federal judge late Friday. According to those court documents obtained by Target 12, DeLuca and Monacchio arranged protection payments for local strip clubs to the tune of four to six thousand dollars a month. DeLuca was charged with RICO conspiracy, but signed a plea agreement pledging to cooperate with federal investigators. In that plea deal, the government acknowledged the danger DeLuca faced by cooperating with federal agents, saying he had the option to enter the witness protection program. Although it's unclear whether he was was relocated by the FBI, DeLuca disappeared from Providence streets around 2011 and did not reappear until Monday, the day he was arrested in Broward County, Florida. And we now know that DeLuca faces charges of lying to federal investigators about what he knew of a 1993 gangland slaying of Stephen DeSaro, the Boston nightclub manager whose body was found buried behind a Providence mill building in March. DeLuca will eventually be transported to Massachusetts to face charges in federal court. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.